Nebraska minus 12 and a half over under 50 and a half for the one of the biggest matchups I think we've already got week one. Um, so talk to me about this. These corn huskers, I mean, it's Big Ten football right here. Are yeah. We gonna, are we going to, I mean, you know, nobody likes anybody in the Big Ten. It's like yeah. every Big Ten game's a rivalry. Not as much as the other one, but everyone is. Talk to me about this game. What are you thinking here? Yeah, this is um, week zero of the college football. And it's kind right. of, uh, this is kind of like the weird ish week because you get a lot of just like bad teams, like really, really bad teams going up against good teams. And there's some really big point spreads. Um, but these two teams in conference, I will say the big thing about this game, it's going to be in Dublin. Uh, it's going to, it's in a neutral site, which is just mm-hmm. really, really weird. But hey, get football over to the, uh, the other side of the world. That's awesome. Um, yeah. When you look at these two teams, both of them had like really disappointing years last year. Both of them three and nine. Uh, but I think that we could say that Nebraska was probably one of the best three and nine teams in college football history. Because I think they Fair. lost a couple of Fair. games by like two or three points. It was like they went three and nine, but their point margin was like one of the smallest for any of the losing teams. Um, so that was definitely interesting to say. Uh, this one's a 12 and a half. Both teams, uh, you get Nebraska, who's bringing back seven guys on offense and five guys on defense. You get uh, Northwestern, who's bringing back nine on offense and five on defense. So you get a little bit more of Nebraska, uh, uh, Northwestern's team from last year. And when it comes to it, beginning of the season, grab some dogs. Like I'm already starting to look through uh, the first week of the, the actual week one, in, like the September 2nd, 3rd weekend. Right. And I'm already starting to look at some dogs. And I'm going to go Northwestern in this one. Uh, I'm going to grab them plus the 12 and a half. I don't think Nebraska deserves to be that big of a favorite. Because um, they're good, yes. Or they, they'll they be competitive, I should say. They'll be better. The reason why they're this big of favorites. Yeah. I could see even Nebraska winning – sorry, uh, Northwestern winning this game straight up. Like, this is a weird matchup of two teams line. that were kind of like in the same spot last year. And – when it and it's it's across the it's across the pond, so mm-hmm. it's in a neutral site. It's not like yeah. we're in Nebraska. It's not like we're in Northwestern. I think Fair. it's going to benefit Northwestern just a little bit more that it's not in Nebraska and it's at a neutral site. Yeah, I'm going to grab some dogs to start off the year, especially when teams are starting to get their playbooks together and really starting to get into a rhythm. Um, I, I'm going to go after some dogs to begin off, and Northwestern is going to be one of the ones that I kind of tag on to start off the year. I don't hate that at all. Um. I, I actually I, I like it here. I don't know if I'd go as far as ballsy to get money line on them, but I'll definitely be, they'll definitely make the card on plus twelve and a half. I mean, um, money line's got to be like eight and plus eight hundred or something like that. Yeah, I, I think uh, it's worth a shot. Obviously, sprinkle, uh, sprinkle it. <laughs> I bet it like yeah. a, like if you're betting a hundred bucks on the spread, throw twenty on the on the on the money line or something like that. You do not need yeah. to throw a lot on the money line. Fair enough. Fair enough. I appreciate that. Um, Tim Earl, tell us what you got going on over at Picks and Parlays. I know you got a, a lot going on there as well. Uh, I'm going to tell everybody not to, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification. Uh, one thing I didn't tell them, and I'm going to tell them right now, is to bet MGM. Sportsbook promo up to $1,000 risk free on your first bet. Use that promo code MORNING when you sign up with BetMGM. That'll get you uh, the $1,000 risk free on your first bet. But Tim, what, tell them what you got going on over there. Bunch of baseball, which you know us, lots of dogs and plus money over there. Uh, WNBA is going into their postseason on spring Wednesday, so that's going to be fun to watch. Uh, we got CFL still rolling. Uh, NFL preseason, week zero slash one, uh, yep. 13 and two start. So really, really good to start that. Credit to Nick. Uh, but we got two more weeks of preseason football, and then we get to the regular season. Not to mention, we just talked about college football. It's 12 days away. We'll definitely have plays up for that. And then Absolutely. before we know it, a blink of an eye, and we'll have postseason baseball, college yeah. <laughs> football in full swing, NFL in full swing, NBA is going to be back in October, uh, NHL in October, and all of a sudden we're just balls to the WNBA ball playoffs everything. start like when? Next WNBA week? WNBA playoffs start uh, Wednesday. So that should Wednesday, be this yeah, Wednesday. a month. But um, okay. it's, it's going to be a lot of content, a lot of sports. And then before we know it, college basketball is going to be here. It's going to be a busy time of the year. I'm excited for it. I love it. 